Very good. So how would you prefer to save your money? Mm, by saving my money. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless His holy name. Hello, everyone. Welcome again to Beauty From Within with Menchu and Friends. My name is Menchu. And I'm Millie. My name is Kevin. And on today's program, we are going to talk about money-saving tips. Spend less, save more. Well, today we're going to be teaching you how not to overspend and have your budget under control. But of course, before we dig into these six tips that we're going to give you, the ladies and I will be sharing with you what are really the main causes of overspending. So ladies, let's start. Yeah, we've been digging, searching and asking people, uh -huh. finding out why they are spending and we came across some very interesting reasons why yeah. they are doing that. Right. Well, Kevin, you want to start with some of the reasons? Yeah, like the very first reason that we actually came across was keeping up an image or better known as keeping up with the genesis. Oh, uh -huh. I've had that a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. like you, you, you spend because you think, what will the neighbors think if my house doesn't have this? Or what will my friend think if my bag, if I don't have the latest bag mm -hmm. or the latest shoes? More like peer pressure. Yeah. Right? Yeah, like you want to appease others. Okay. And funny enough, they're probably thinking the same thing like, mm -hmm. what is Kevin going to think if I don't have the latest bag? So you guys are all under that. But no one is coming wow. out loud to say. I know, it's like a Cold War-ish psychological thing. Yeah, wow. and then for the young people, mm -hmm. they find that, oh, my neighbor has a smartphone. What will happen if I go to school and I'm not having the latest iPhone? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What will What will they think in my class if I'm the only one holding the cavity? <laughs> the case series. Then before you know it, they are spending money they could have used for other things just so they can keep up with us. John says, yeah, that's that, that, is, that is something, isn't it? So, are you are you a chronic spender? That's a good question, right? Yeah. Are you a chronic spender? Do you spend a lot of money on the things that you don't even need? You know, there there is a difference between need and a want. Mm -hmm. You know, a need is that it's something that we need today so that we can survive. Yeah, a want is something that. It's just an extra necessity yeah. you know, that you don't really need because you just want this, you know, things. Yeah. So, let me ask you this question. How many pairs of designer shoes do you have in your closet <laughs> that you have not even worn? I know, okay. the ladies. And some of, of the clothes that you have in your closet have still have tags in it. Yeah. You bought them on impulse because you right. saw it and said, this will look good. That's then right. you bought it, took it home, and then you realized, eh. I don't really, I don't like yeah, it. I don't really right. need to have yeah. I mean, Well, there's seated. really nothing wrong if you have the money and you mm -hmm. wanted to, you know, buy these nice things. Yeah. But if you have a low income, then it's time for you to know how to save and control overspending. Because yeah. what the, the most important part is that at the end of the month, you have something saved in your bank account. You have something saved for emergency fund and something that you can save when you are about to retire, like a retirement plan. Yeah, or so, even you have something that you can use to reinvest that's right. somewhere and expand your income. That's but right. then some people can't save because they are busy spending money which they don't have on things which they don't want to impress friends who don't even care. That's, that's it. Impressing other people who don't even care. Who won't yeah, even realize what you wear. You're actually afraid if I don't spend, if I don't take the girls out for mm. coffee, they're going to drop me. I mean, if they drop you just because you didn't um, pay for the whole table coffee, then are they even really your friends? Think about it. Right. And there are some people also that wanted to look rich on the outside. Oh, yeah. But really, it, the truth is that they don't have, you know, they have empty bank accounts. They're poor. Yeah. So, That's uh, true. I think you had told me a story. Yeah. About a friend. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, this friend that we had in school, like everybody knew this guy, like he was the rich guy of the class. The lecturers would come in and they're like, dude, you're like mm -hmm. the richest wife. And then like after we finished school, um, 
I meet some old friends and a lecturer and they're like, this guy actually used to go undercover and take loans from really? like different people to throw these parties that would make his name. Mm -hmm. And I was like so shocked because like mm -hmm. he did keep up the appearance so well. Wow. But if he had to go and get loans, which he's going to struggle to pay in the end, then it's, it wasn't worth it. But you know, peer pressure at campus. So he's yeah. in debt. Yeah. Oh, that very is big very debt. sad. And it's happening actually to parents too. Mm -hmm. Some parents are having good paychecks mm -hmm. and then for some reasons, the big paycheck is no longer coming in. But because they've convinced everyone they are living in a posh house, their children are in very good schools, very expensive schools, then after the paycheck is no longer coming in, they start borrowing to maintain the, the children That's in high the standard, schools. Yeah. They start borrowing to keep living in that neighborhood, mm -hmm. which is really very posh. Mm -hmm. And then in the end, they are living in debt just because yeah. they want to keep up the appearance that they had created. Yeah, yeah. There's, there, there, uh, there's something wrong with, you know, trying to put up an appearance. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a man that I used to know, very simple looking person, just a shirt. Yeah. You know, he looks clean, a shirt and a short or a jean. Mm -hmm. But my goodness, Millie, yes, yeah. he was a millionaire. I know, they and he wasn't dressing yeah. all like a no, million bucks. because you see, uh, <laughs> he knows that he's rich and he's yeah. not out there to impress. Mm. Hey, I look rich, I look <laughs> push. But really, he has a lot of money in the bank and he is a millionaire. Most of the time, the ones who are out there to tell you how rich they are, they actually are not. <laughs> someone told me you can actually know someone who just kind of got rich and someone who grew up rich. Because someone who like grew up knowing, okay, there is money. They're not going to overspend and try to look like a million bucks just for the sake of it. They'll dress simply and everything. The one who just got the money yesterday is somehow <laughs> in a rush to spend it all and prove to the world mm -hmm. that he have looks the money awesome. Now. So he's going to spend on all these expensive things and, you know, waste away and stay poor. Yeah. Right. So when you are strolling in the mall, okay, mm -hmm. and you don't have the money, yeah. I mean, you have probably little, little money and you like and to buy the particular designer bag. Yeah. Okay? And then, so how do you stop? You say, how do you stop when you're there and you have seen this temptation in front of your face? And then you, you feel like, okay. and, and you have this habit of just, you know, buying and buying, spending, spending, spending. So I think this is the first step. Okay? Yeah. You have to stop and think, hey, do I really need, need this thing? This. Or I, do I, I want it right now. Yeah. yeah. You know what I do is that, you know, I love bags, okay? Yeah. And, uh, when I go to the mall and I shop, I uh -huh. usually get attracted to bags. Yeah. But I had trained myself and I programmed my mind. This is how I do it. Oh my goodness, this bag looks really beautiful. But um, let me come back and think of it in two days. Yeah. So I would sleep and then after two days, I would say, well, I don't really need that bag. It was just, you know, an Linda. emotional yeah. drive. And then know? you don't have to buy an impulse. That's like, right. Oh, you, you know what I told myself? I don't, I don't move around with money. Because mm. then if I don't, then I have to think about it. Then the next day when I'm coming back, then I, I really fall. Because I realize it's hard for me. Yeah. If I have money with me mm -hmm. and I'm moving and I see this thing, I really, it really looks nice. I will think after I've even paid already. Yeah. So I told myself I, I count what I, what I need for the day. Mm -hmm. I don't move around with the money. Yeah. That way, even if I want to pay, I don't have it. Wow. Yeah. You see, <laughs> overspending is a very serious problem. Yeah. You know, it is an emotional drive that is that is very challenging to stop. So let's take a short break. We'll be right back. And then we will give you six tips on how to save more and spend less. So don't go away and we will be right back. Just like the others have told us, he is also going to tell us how he prefers to save his money. So welcome to the show, Paul. Thank you. So how do you prefer to save your money? Mm, by saving my money, it assists me a lot. I like to put money in the bank in a savings account and also just practice saving cash, just using cash and not using credit. People will get shocked. She's got little. How do you even? Have you ever been asked such a question? Someone has said, "How do you even survive? How do you handle on that money? That's not even enough to make someone survive. How do you literally live?" Well, these are tips. They help you not to just survive, but they help you to live. We are back, 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 back. Hello everyone, on today's show we have been talking about money saving tips and I am here with Mercy. Hi Mercy, how are you? I'm good. Okay Mercy, so let me ask you this question. How do you prefer to save your money? 
I would save my money in the bank because at least in the bank it's not easy for you to lose the money. When you keep it in the bank, anytime you want money, you can just go to the bank and then you withdraw your money from there. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing. God bless you. Welcome. All right. So we've been speaking about saving this whole time and I'm here with Datus, a guy who is going to tell us what saving tips work for him, you know, how he has been doing it. So hey Datus. Mm, hi. Welcome to the show. Yeah, good to be here. Okay, so how do you save? What works for you? I prefer putting my money in a practical business. Yeah? Okay. So that's how I look at it like that's how I save. Like it keeps coming back and you know you use the money not to just keep it. I don't just keep the money. Wow, so every time you get money you just keep on investing it uh, over? Yeah, yeah, I keep on investing it over and over. Wow, that is amazing. So I'm here with Kaguli Paul, and just like the others have told us, he is also going to tell us how he prefers to save his money. So welcome to the show, Paul. Thank you. So how do you prefer to save your money? Mm, by saving my money, it assists me a lot by not just saving. What I'm trying to mean? Yes with uh, some domestic affairs so it assists me to solve some of the my domestic affairs okay so when you're saving it where do you put it in the bank at home in anything what, where, do you, where do you put it in the bank in the bank so paul prefers saving his money in the bank thank you very much and right here with me is mark welcome to the show mark yeah i'm glad to hear from you guys well, Mark, we are doing a survey. We are asking people how they prefer to save their money. So how do you prefer to save your money? Uh, for myself, uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm where I'm work, I'll get uh, money on uh, non a salary. I'm just getting a commission. So I prefer money to save it uh, if it's for the daily for the, for the bank. But uh, also, uh, if it is okay, I can save it uh, when I'm opening up small business. Like uh, we have some small business like a boutique, something like a way if you could get a place where you can put some small business. So you'd rather invest some money and then put some in the bank? Yeah. Wow, why? Why do you prefer those methods? According to the economy for the today, uh, the dollar is a bit high and uh, you're gonna economy because we've been in elections. The money is definitely in people, it's not enough. Hi Anita, how are you today? I'm well, how are you? I'm doing well, so there's a question I want to ask you. How do you prefer to save your money? I like to put money in the bank in a savings account and also just practice saving cash, just using cash and not using credit. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a good tip. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. And with me is Pius. Pius, how do you prefer to save your money? I prefer saving through the bank. Why the bank? Because sometimes help us, because you know, problems sometimes, it always reaches us. And you know, when you have someone near you or at home in the port where you put them, you can easily break the port and then pick up the money using the wrong way you get it. But if you went to the bank, mm. it takes a process, so at least. When, and uh, another thing is that when you have the money in the bank, they, you can easily make a budget for it than the money which is close to you. Get that? Because sometimes problems always reach us in an unknown way, you know? Uh, so if you have a bank, you, your money is safe, you, uh, you can plan for it for a long time and you get what you want. Wow. That's the reason why I prefer saving through the bank. <laughs> We are back, 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 back. We are back, back. back.
right back. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> well, hi everyone. Welcome back to our show. You are still watching Beauty From Within with Menchu and Friends. Yes. And don't forget that this program airs every Sunday at 4.30 p.m. only on Lighthouse, Lighthouse Television. And if you miss it on air, you can go on our YouTube channel and watch it there or recommend it to a friend. Don't forget you can also contribute to this topic by going on to our Facebook page, Beauty From Within with Menchu and Friends. Like the page if you haven't already and leave your comment there we will be able to see it I right. mean tells you when they're in those clothes they always put to an every episode <laughs> yeah we have to think ideal closet yes. that is located on Shuatula Road just mm -hmm. opposite Stanbeck Bank they always dress us up and they have the uh, for the look that befits you just yes. goes to them <laughs> yeah thank you well ladies let's get back to our topic we are talking about money saving tips yeah. and um, spend less but save more and um, you know we, we, we just uh, told our viewers that overspending is a very serious problem yeah. so now we are going to give them six tips on how to control overspending mm -hmm. so let's start with number one now this is very very simple make a shopping list mm -hmm. this is very simple all you need is a piece of paper and, and a, a pen pen so when you have a shopping list you have to write down everything that you wanted to buy at the grocery store or when you go to the mall to get something. Mm -hmm. Have a list and be strict to really follow yeah. what's on your list. Yeah. It actually helps when you have a shopping list because you then you'll carry enough money just for the shopping list. Uh -huh. yeah. So you know that when I go shopping and uh, I've, I've not yet bought these. Uh -huh. I can't buy anything extra because the money won't be enough. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if you you follow it strictly, you know, you will have this uh, mentality that you are not wasteful of your money. That's mm -hmm. true. And if you find something that is not on your list, you can tell yourself, mm, I think I'll buy it later. You can put it somewhere and include it in your next list. Oh, yeah. Yes. But don't right. divert from your list. That's right. I think that's a good tip, Manchu. Yeah. Thank you. Because so many people just go out there with money and just shop what feels good. Now a shopping list. Yes. I like the idea. Yeah, it helps you save a lot. Yes, yeah, it will save you a lot. I meant to. Wow. Well, well, tip number two, avoid eating in restaurants. Cook more. We are not saying don't Cook eat. more. Cook at we home. Are, exactly. <laughs> Cook at yeah. home. You know, when I was at campus, mm -hmm. uh, we used to have all my friends, they would say after probably a lecture or after a sale, they would say, oh, let's go to chicken tonight. Oh, let's go to this restaurant. Let's have food here. And I would think, hmm, I have very little pocket money to spend. Uh -huh. If I eat there, I'm going to spend like 20000 or more. And I can spend that in more than a week. So what you spend mm -hmm. eating in a hotel, you can spend that same money eating at home so avoid eating more in in restaurants in restaurants and uh, use get your ingredients get them home cook you will spend less money cooking your lunch cooking your food cooking what you're eating you know actually when you save uh, and you don't spend maybe 50,000 on a plate of chicken mm -hmm. and chips because uh -huh. it's a posh restaurant mm -hmm. you can save that money and use it for something even bigger you know, Buy you add it on a this. blender. Yes, uh -huh, right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Healthy food. Yeah. Right. They are not going to have, you know, dirty things you never saw how they prepared. I We're know. not saying that's how And they maybe do. it has been yeah. like. Yeah. Recycle it over and over. If you need and a you, rice cooker, and you will be shocked that mm -hmm. what you spend on that day can actually feed you the whole week. Yeah, I've seen that happen. I've seen that happen. So wow. it's a good tip to do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Every once in a while, you can go but, to. But you know, it starts at a young age, happen. like what you're doing at school. You're a yeah. student, but you actually program your mind on how to save money mm -hmm. and and discipline That's yourself. True. And then people will get shocked. She's got little. How do you even? Have you ever been asked such a question? Someone asked me, "How do you even survive? How do you handle on that money? That's not even enough to make someone survive. How do you literally live? Well, these are tips. They help you not to just survive, but they help you to live actually comfortably. Because yeah. mm -hmm. some people think when you say that you're not eating in the restaurant, you're living an uncomfortable life. Yeah, which is actually so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Well, for our third tip, make a budget. Mm -hmm. Always know how much do I earn and how much do I want to uh, save? Mm -hmm. How much do I want to spend? So when you draw up a budget, maybe you're married, you can mm -hmm. do this as a couple and you're like, how much do we earn when we put this together? And like, what do we need to spend on? It will help you even when you're making those shopping lists 
and yeah. everything. You know, it always helps. Uh, Even what you're going to give a church budget for it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I've learned to Every say if someone penny. comes, I, I need this money. Well, it's not in my budget. I'll see how I can fix it in my next yeah. budget because mm -hmm. I already have a budget made for the next month. And if something is not in the budget, and probably I have to fix it in my next budget, but the current one, it's just not there. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And if you are a woman and you have children, you have a husband and then your husband brings the income mm -hmm. do you know how to budget that money every month yeah. you know paying for school fees for rent for food or do you just you know spend it for bags for clothes and it and the money just go away in a few days and when so some necessities yes. come you ask yourself where is the money we don't have the money yeah. yeah but you also need to like have this discipline to follow that budget because mm -hmm. you may draw the budget don't draw it and just leave it <laughs> there for the sake of okay i draw a budget but i'm not going to follow it no don't do that <laughs> if you draw a budget make sure you follow it yeah yeah and we need to draw a budget is that when you know how to control your you know spending mm -hmm. you will have more money in your bank account yeah that's and, true and you know you'll be ready for for your future I mean, some people may say oh i want to enjoy today mm -hmm. i want to enjoy now like there is no tomorrow yeah <laughs> so it's wise you know it's very wise for you to know how to control your spending it's actually the secret as to why some people earn less but they have more than those who earn much more That's you true. may earn like five hundred thousand, and someone else earns maybe a million and, it's and then you find it. that the person who, who earns the 500 who are with after a long time because mm -hmm. they've saved and they followed right. this budget uh -huh. are actually richer and have more assets than the person who's earning a million yeah i had there was this driver driving uh, a parliamentarian and literally the, parliament, the driver was richer than the oh. not that the driver <laughs> earned a lot the driver got less pay the that driver built the built had a very conk budget built his house the the parliamentarian was renting this posh apartment yeah uh -huh. you know being driven the, the driver had a very small car which he really owned uh -huh. the parliamentarian had a government car yeah. very huge with fuel and everything mm -hmm. so literally these two people yeah and lived a high lifestyle but was poor that's that very, very interesting true, yeah. my goodness <laughs> i love this right. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and let's get to tip number four yeah mm -hmm. well this one is not expensive yeah yeah this is very practical okay. exercise regularly oh How there is, is nothing that? more valuable and important <sighs> if you are in a Oh yeah. You know, there's this old saying that health is wealth. Mm -hmm. You know, if you are rich and you are sick, then yeah. you cannot really enjoy the wealth. The wealth, you, you know. Or a disease you could have avoided by exercising. Uh -huh. You are now curing it with lots of money to the doctor. Yes. Lots, lots of uh -huh. paycheck to right. the visitor. Uh -huh. So I really really think that yeah, medical expenses is very crippling yeah it wouldn't hurt to walk to work mm -hmm. yeah you can even walk to work money. not like a strike <laughs> <laughs> but just walk to work uh -huh. okay. and you'll yeah. save money on you that kind money of distance and you'll, you'll save that healthy. one grand maybe on you spend on a judge from that place to your workplace and every single day and within a week you have like how much five thousand you've saved and within a month you've saved some good money and you do that and right. you know there is no little money when it comes to saving mm -hmm. yes when you purpose and you're like okay i'm going to do this and i'm going to probably put away this much eventually it will become a lot a lot right. yeah. yeah i love the exercise you know exercise is not just good for your body it's actually a saving tip right yeah because if you know when your lungs are working better operating better and you're not having the headaches you're not having the pains in the in the Me. bones yeah. everywhere you avoid all these things yeah. You told us of this lady who does it zoom and she's 59 and boy. She yeah, is. yeah, very energetic. Yeah, at the age of 50, 54. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, anyways. The other tip uh -huh. that we are going to give you, invest in assets and not liabilities. Right. You may be asking yourself, what are assets? What are liabilities? Uh -huh. What is that? Well, let me tell you, assets add value to you. They keep gaining value. Liabilities 
keep losing value from the moment it's out of the shop or the seller it starts to lose the value mm -hmm. some of the assets are like lands because you know land keeps gaining value That's over right. time mm -hmm. but then a car you buy a car just so you can use it to go to town make movements easy well a car loses value every minute every second because you're fixing and you can never sell it the same price you bought it yeah. but when it comes to land mm -hmm. if you will never sell it the same price it's better you will you may sell it double the price or th triple the price right. so when you are spending your money invest in assets, assets. yeah That's it's right. important right. do you know some of the assets a house um you know, things that are really adding value. Yeah, right. not smartphones that are going to be <laughs> stolen tomorrow or pieces that, you know, you're going to like pour out milk in it and it's spoiled mm -hmm. and then you'll have to spend more to fix it. I'm just saying. Yeah. Well, we have a few minutes left, ladies. So go yeah, ahead and the last, the last tip, tip. For the last tip, you've got to change your mindset. Mm. You know, um, a lot of the people we have today, the young people, spend the way they do because they have this mindset built in them right from childhood. The Bible says, train up a child in the way they go and mm -hmm. they will not depart from That's it. Right. So if you're a parent and you train up your kid to, you know, overspend and not make budgets and um, be what? Like, want to have what other people have yet they can't afford it, they don't work for it really. They're going to have this mindset of when they grow up, they're going to want to uh like mimic other people mm -hmm. do things that they can't they're going to be snobs they're yeah. going to have a snobbish mindset and it's not really good so change your mindset you know you don't have to do things to please people right mm. just live comfortably you don't you don't have to think okay if i don't do this what's the world going to say the world going, is going to say like a million things but they're not going to step in to help you out when you're going to deep trouble when, yes they're in fact going to like be the ones stunning you and calling the police for you when you can't pay a debt. That's true. So wow. you don't have to please anybody. And if you're a right. parent, teach your, your children to, to serve. Right, Had from childhood. By, is it begin banks? Piggy banks. Piggy banks. For yeah. their kids so that they learn the saving culture. And yeah. even when they grow, they have it. And That's you know right. when a kid has a piggy bank, they know, okay, I don't have to run to mommy for everything I need. They can okay. actually reach out in their piggy bank mm -hmm. and buy a gift for their friend. Right. They learn to actually, you know, give and not totally depend on their parents. That's right. Yeah. I used to have that when I was a young girl. Yeah. Piggy so bank. yeah, every Christmas I would, you know, open it and buy a present for my friend. Yeah. And it helps rather than asking my parents. Yeah. But anyway, this is a very interesting show <laughs> and is. we hope that our viewers had enjoyed watching this program. Mm -hmm. So we want to let you know that do not destroy yourself by overspending and destroy your family as well mm. you know try to control overspending and you have heard from us we had six tips and try to follow these six tips that we just gave you and I'm sure that you will start saving money you have more money in your bank account yeah. and you will have an enjoyable life yeah. so thank you so much for watching the show today we hope that you enjoyed it and learned something so yes. try saving right now start with a piggy bank mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it will make a big difference yeah. so thank you so much for watching this program and we want to see you again next week only here at Beauty From Within and always remember that Jesus loves you and, and we, we do too. Bye-bye.